The Statistics Search Facility on the Old Bailey Online allows users to combine quantitative with qualitative analysis by counting cases according to criteria specified by the user, and then drill down to examine the individual trials which make up any cell. The search form may appear daunting, but not every box needs to be filled in, and simple searches can be quickly performed. It is helpful to think of defining your search as a four-step process. First, you need to decide the category or categories of information you want to count by using the drop-down menus in the row and column search boxes. Note that the difference between these two menus is that only the row column includes the choice of year and decade. If you wish to compile a table, your results will display most effectively if you choose the category with the least number of possibilities as column and the category with the most as row. If you wish to compile a bar chart or pie chart, fill in the row box only. Using the drop-down menus, choose what you want to count, whether it is offenses, verdicts, punishments, or defendant or victim genders or ages. If you are only interested in determining the frequency of a single category of information, for example, defendant gender, then do not fill in the column box. For example, a search for defendant gender under row will produce the following table which shows that 78.2% of all defendants in the proceedings were men. If you wish to tabulate one category against another, for example, defendant gender against victim gender, then select the second category or subcategory from the drop-down menu in the column box. This search will produce the following table, which shows that of the 253,385 defendants in the proceedings, only 6,603 women were accused of committing a crime against another woman. Second, you need to determine the unit of analysis you wish to count by. Do you wish to count defendants, victims, offenses, verdicts, or punishments? Since some trials have more than one of any of these, results will vary. In deciding what to count by, you need to decide what you are interested in. If you are interested in the characteristics of people, count by defendants or victims. If you are interested in crime, count by offense. And if you are interested in the decisions made by the court, count by verdicts or punishments. If you fail to specify the right type, you may not find the trials you are looking for. The default setting will choose the most appropriate category depending on your query and is normally sufficient. The one unit of analysis you cannot count by using this facility is trial. The forthcoming Old Bailey API will allow you to undertake this type of search. Third, you need to decide how you would like your results displayed. The default setting is table, which is appropriate for all types of query. But if you are only counting a single category of information, such as punishments, you can display the results visually in a way which makes the results much easier to interpret using a pie chart or a bar chart. The following bar chart shows the distribution of punishment categories. Note that you need to scroll down the page to match the colors to the labels and see the number of cases in each column. It can be seen here that imprisonment was by far the most frequent type of punishment sentenced over the whole period from 1674 to 1913. Finally, you have the option of limiting the trials to be counted according to criteria you specify. Using the drop-down menus, you can choose to limit what is counted to any combination of a specific offense, verdict, punishment, defendant and victim age and gender, and time period. For example, if you choose to narrow the previous tabulation of punishment categories to the offense subcategory robbery and the period up to 1800, by selecting 1800 in the drop-down menu for the two-month year box, you will generate a bar chart which looks very different. Now, death, the green bar, is the most common punishment sentence, with many convicts also sentenced to transportation, the pink bar, reflecting the frequent use of these two punishments for those convicted of the most serious crimes in the 18th century. You can also narrow your search only to trials which include one or more specified keywords. For example, if you specify sword in the keyword search box and repeat the previous search, 
you will generate a table which once again looks very different. This chart displays the punishments for those convicted of robberies in trials where the accounts include the keyword sword before 1800. Since such trials often involved violence to the person, it is not surprising that almost all convicts were sentenced to death. Interpreting your results. The two most important points to note are first, that where two percentages are provided in a cell, the lower left percentage is the percentage of cases in that row, and the percentage on the upper right is the percentage of cases in that column. In choosing which percentage is relevant, ask yourself what you need to know. Is it the proportion of all cases in the row or proportion of all cases in the column? Second, each absolute number is a link which takes you to a listing of all the trials which make up that cell. This makes it possible to read the relevant trials and assess the significance of the numbers generated by the statistics search. In this way, users of the proceedings can combine qualitative and quantitative research. For further statistical analysis, you can export your results into a database package such as Excel by clicking on the Export button at the bottom of the results page. It is often said, paraphrasing Mark Twain, that it is easy to lie with statistics. Numbers and percentages can certainly mislead, but if you take care to define your search query precisely and think about the significance of the percentages obtained, you should be able to generate meaningful results. For further information on interpreting statistics, see the Teaching Statistics section of the Guide to Using the Proceedings in University Teaching. Additional information about doing statistical searches is available by clicking on the Help icons next to every box on the search page.